Well, now I get to take you along with me on the final two stages of the Epicurean Way. Firstly, the Barossa Valley, which is clearly very close to my heart. And a little later on, we'll check out that other great winemaking valley, Clare. First up, our world famous Jacobs Creek. The visitor centre here is a great place to stop because you'll find an overview of the region's early history. And if you book ahead, you can join a masterclass, which is basically an education in food and wine pairing. I can't believe James gets to do this for a living. Tough job. The venison is a fantastic pairing uh, with a cool climate Shiraz from Padthaway. So this is a really fantastic example. You've got your really lean gamey meat, lovely beetroot, paired perfectly with a real lean peppery Shiraz. Do we go food first or do we go wine first? So I like to go wine first. Yeah get a little bit of the sensation, then have the food, and then the wine while you're eating the so food. So it's like a wine and food sandwich. That's it. A place high on anyone's list when visiting the Barossa is Maggie Beer's farm shop, and not just because you might be greeted by a peacock. This is where it all began, and today visitors can linger by the lake or warm up by the fire with coffee and cake, taste the range, and maybe even pick up something to take home. Hentley Farm is a boutique single estate vineyard that also offers award-winning fine dining. Chef Lachlan Colwell promises a truly authentic experience. I guess our philosophy is we are on a farm in the Barossa Valley, so we really want to showcase what the Barossa Valley is about and what farming in the Barossa Valley is about, and really it's about utilisation of produce and in their peak seasons, making sure they are used. So the a la carte approach really just wouldn't do the farm justice. Uh, if we're out sort of picking the fruits and vegetables and collecting the eggs and they're really fresh that day, uh, we don't want to do the quail and injustice by not using its egg the day that it's laid it. So, so how does your menu work? Uh, so we have two formats, there's the du jour menu which is the shorter four course version, takes generally about an hour and a half, uh, and then the larger big ticket number is our discovery menu which is the sort of three and a half hour experience. And both menus are matched uh, perfectly to all the wines that are grown on site here at Hentley Farm. Now you're likely to pick up some bottles along the way, but have you ever made your own? Another of the valley's iconic wineries, Penfolds, gives you the opportunity to blend your own wine. Sasha explained the science behind it all. We're blending together these three varietals that actually comprise our bin 138. They are Grenache, Shiraz and Mataro. We have them in a certain percentage blend, but you're going to have a go at blending them into your own particular blend today. Fantastic. Well, I think I'm going to start with a little Grenache. This is the actual lab where the Penfolds winemakers work their magic. There's plenty of space, so you can even go as a group. So I've got test, so 90 yeah. mils here, so my percentages are going to be pretty strong. Pretty in the strong with Grenache. <laughs> I've shown no restraint at all. And at the end, you get to take the finished result home with you. Now, a day in the Barossa wouldn't be complete without a visit to Sepultsfield, the place to discover history and unique experiences. And one of them is right here in the Centennial Cellar, home to the longest lineage of vintage tawny anywhere in the world dating back to 1878. There's actually a barrel for every year. So you can come here and taste the year you were born. And here's mine right here. And bringing a delicious new dimension to the area is Fino, part of a recent upgrade that really puts Sepulsfield at the top of your must visit list. Well, what a huge day of all things food and wine. Now, I could go and stay at one of the great Barossa B&Bs if it wasn't for the fact that my mum lives just down the road. So I'm going to go crash at her place because I know we've got another massive day tomorrow. 